YouTube, what's going on? Uh oh, it's your girl spiritual said. And baby, I feel a lot of clarity. Okay, I feel a lot of clarity going on around this time. I'm not an astrologer, astrologist. I don't know nothing about the planets. I just feel like this is a time where your spirit guys is giving you a lot of clarity. Okay. Now, with that clarity, what you do with it, I, you know, spirit can lead you to the water, but they can't make you drink it. Okay. So let's see. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest light lights. I ask that you come in and allow me to channel the energy surrounding my collective. Y'all, my son got his friends over there on the game. I do apologize, okay? Spirit, what affirmation do you want my collective to know? Please and thank you, Spirit. Oh, oh. Well, the only one that flipped over was this one. Okay, so let's pick them up. Put those right there. And it says, first of all, I see an eight on here, okay? Two eights. Eight, eight, and I see 11. I mean, one eleven. Eights talks about abundance. 111 says that the things that you are asking for, they're manifesting. Okay? So, in all that I say and do, I choose peace. I don't even know why I keep trying to show y'all these cards. Yeah. and all I say and do, I choose peace. Like I said, I feel clarity come. Hopefully, some of you guys will make good decisions with this clarity. Hold on just a second, because baby, it ain't too loud. downstairs but anyway we'll see we'll see so with this clarity what you do with it is up to you okay so let's see what's going on i'm not gonna do the same spread i've been doing i don't really like this spread that much and i haven't really gotten any feedback so let's see mm -hmm. What's going on? Alright, let's see. What is this clarity about? Uncovering treasure beneath the surface. I'm sorry, beneath the surface lies a great bounty. That treasure is this truth. This clarity, okay? Uncovering treasure, yeah. You guys are getting the truth and the clarity. I said that. We got to try to figure out what this truth and clarity is. Now, yes, it's going to be different for all of y'all, but we're going to try to narrow it down. And let's see what it could be. But we do know that you guys are uncovering treasure. Getting, If it's treasure, it's got to be good, right? Okay, I mean, even if it's a bad situation, it's a good thing to have clarity around it, whatever it is. So let's see. Could be involving some lovers with the king of cups and the lovers right there, but let's see. But like I said, they're going to be different for everybody. We're going to pull out a few things and we're going to talk about it and see what's going on. Okay, spirit. There you go. Ace of Swords. Eight of Wands. Ace of Swords is what? Truth and clarity. Could have been something that y'all was going round and round. Spirit came. Spirit got tired. That's the loop. I'm tired of my child going round and round. I'm going to come and get them the clarity. So somebody has got, listen, uncovering treasure, getting truth and clarity, eight of wands, right? Eight of wands talks about communication, but it also talks about forward movement. Okay, so let's see. I feel like this is exciting news for you. For some of you, this is very, very exciting. Okay, some of you guys just graduated. Because <coughs> I see all these math problems right here. Okay, some of y'all is figuring out y'all books. Some of you guys are figuring out money don't add up. It ain't adding up. Mm -mm. Somebody's telling you they needed money for a certain situation. And y'all, maybe you let this other person handle the books. But by the time you got a hold to it, you're like, hold on, wait a minute. Five minus three is two. This shit ain't, you know what I'm saying? This shit ain't adding up. So for some of y'all, that's what that is. We're going to talk about that and see what in the fuck is going on. Either way... It's, it's creating forward movement. You're getting the truth and clarity around it, okay? Somebody could have been lying 
Okay, somebody was lying about what they was doing with the money. Period. How they were spending, what they were doing, what they were needing it for. They was lying about that. And so Spirit has shown you something. Okay, let me see. What else is going on? Baby. Somebody likes the... What do you call it? The good life, okay? I see all this treasure, like all these jewels in this treasure box. Somebody like the good life, but they don't like to work for it. And so this could be a situation where... <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. This could be a situation where this person is always texting you that they need money for the kids. Or they need money for this. Or they, but really, you paying to get this person nails done and hair done. You paying to buy new clothes and all of that. And you're like, where's all this money going? Because it ain't going to the It's not going to the kids, but you've gotten that clarity now. Okay, whoever this is, they've gotten that clarity that that's not where the money was going, period. Okay, it didn't want to come out. But that's for some of y'all, okay? But let's see what else Spirit got to say. The devil tried to peek his head up. Don't come out tonight. Please do not come out tonight. How y'all been doing? I love y'all. I miss y'all. I'm talking about for real. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on? What else does my cook need to know about this energy? None of them flipped over, so I'm not going to take them, y'all. I want them to flip out. Okay, well, two of wands. Damn, this shit just got deep. This is not for everybody. This shit just got real deep. Okay. Somebody... I don't know what they using this money for. They don't even got they ain't got no furniture in their house. You hear me? This person is they're losing everything. She's sitting in the living room with no furniture. This person's whole world has been turned upside down. They could be getting evicted. The money is not going where it was supposed to go. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, this person's in regret now. Definitely. Look how they looking. Damn, lighting. You still can't see it, but they in regret. Because, like I said, their whole world has been flipped upside down now. The cat is out the bag. The cat, the cat is out the bag, okay? Somebody know exactly what is going on, okay? They know that this money was not going away. You could have been paying this person's rent. You could have been paying their light bill. You could have been whatever the fuck. Something happened. I don't know if you actually went over there and realized that this person ain't got no damn furniture and they getting evicted. Something has happened. <clears throat> you hear me? This person was not spending the money like they were supposed to. Oh, Lord, have mercy. What else is going on, Spirit? Please and thank you. Swords. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Some of you guys are going to see or realize that this person has um some kind of habit or some listen, y'all, the money wasn't going where it was supposed to. Period. Okay, because you could even live in the same home with this person and it's like, damn, we got, what do you mean you haven't been paying the rent? What do you mean you haven't been paying the light bill? I feel like somebody came and took y'all furniture. I mean, everything is gone. Everything is gone. And somebody is in pain and agony, just like, look, she's screaming. There's nothing there. Look how dead this car, there's nothing there but pain. And this house is empty as fuck. So I want to pull out the kipper. I just saw the image of the kipper in my mind. So let's, whew, let's pull this out and see what's going on. Damn, that's fucked up. Mm, mm, mm. 
Okay, Spirit, what do we need to see about this energy? I knew it. Look at that. Despair. I just saw 1010. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? And somebody ain't got no job. What is this? Somebody has lost everything. Do you hear me? Everything. This person is in despair. Like, I already knew that. I saw it right here. I said, they in regret. For whatever they done, they in fucking regret because they can't play this game no more. They can't manipulate. They can't go round and round. Spirit has given someone the truth and clarity of what's really going on. Because somebody was constantly asking for money. I'm getting text messages, constant communication. I need this. I need that. And somebody was doing it. Okay? Somebody could have been taken out of a trust fund. Somebody could have been taken out of a trust fund. Um, spending on the, what's that, 401k, the retirement, the savings. But somebody realizes they have nothing now. They have nothing. If this was a marriage, this person was spending all the damn money. And I feel like for some of you, okay, for some of you, this is a relationship and this person lost a job, okay, because it says not hiring. Well, this person was under the impression that, okay, well, I at least got six months worth of savings. No, you don't. No, you don't. This person been spending all the fucking money. This person is hurt in despair. I don't know if the per okay. I think this male is in despair because this woman has doesn't spun out of damn money. She didn't work anyway. This woman didn't work anyway. Okay, for a very few of you, this is this was going on outside of the home. Okay, maybe a baby mama was texting you saying she needed money. You come to find out, cause somebody did the math. Look right there. Somebody did the math. Right there. And they seen shit didn't add up, right? But for the majority of you, this was happening in the in the home. Okay. And this man lost his job and he was of course he was sad he lost his job, but he thought that they had money put away. This is this is somebody who do things for show. They had a really big house, nice house, okay? And so this man is thinking all the while, okay, well, now I got to go home and tell my girl or tell my wife that I done lost my job, but I ain't too stressed because I got money in the savings. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he, he finds out that they don't, okay? And one day they come and get the furniture. They're about to turn out the lights. They don't have anything, anything. And this person is in fucking despair and they in agony. They don't know what in the fuck to do. But I feel like this is going to create some forward movement for somebody. I really do. Okay, because this is, I feel like this is one of them situations where it was for show. They did everything for people in the street. Like I said, they bought this big ass house. I'm sorry, this house is big as hell. It don't even make no sense. Okay, look how big the window is in the damn living room. That's a big ass house. Okay, and so... I don't, maybe the love wasn't there or whatever, but I knew it was for show. It was for show. And it's just like, once this man lost his job, she had to come and tell him the truth. Or he had to tell her the truth. That she had been spending the money. There is no money. What do you mean? There is no money in the savings. There is no 401k. There is, it's gone. And this man is like, what, what, what am I going to do? Oh my God, child. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, Spirit, what else is going on? Alright, so now you got unexpected income popping up. What is this unexpected income? It, it looks like... <coughs> now you see that house in the background? That's a house back there behind them hands. That's a poor person or a beggar. And then this is a wealthy person giving somebody some money. Now what I see in this car, we're going to try to figure out what's going on. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody took... Get the fuck out of here, bro. Somebody took a... Um, 
a mortgage out on the house. Oh my God, bruh. That's why you don't listen, <clears throat> baby. I ain't mad, so I really just can't give y'all advice like that. But when it comes to your motherfucking money, I don't care if you married or not. You cannot just give somebody your damn, give them free reign over what in the fuck is going on. And I people do that. People say, well, I go out there and make the money. I let my wife pay the bills. Okay, that's fine, but you still need to be checking up on it. And, and not when you lose your job and you think you got six months worth of savings in the bank. That's not when you check on some shit. Because this woman has gotten a mortgage out on Man or woman, somebody that got a mortgage, because there's a like a banker. You see what I'm saying? And I'm getting that this person has some kind of habit. Look how her hand, his, his or her hands look. The clothes are torn and tattered. And that house, there's a picture of a house in the background. I'm telling you what I see now. Somebody got a mortgage out on their house, spent all the damn savings, and now this man done lost his job and they have nothing. And they done came and got the damn furniture. See, this, like I said, this is people that do shit for show. The furniture wasn't even fucking paid for. They were paying on the damn furniture. And the people that came and got the damn furniture. Spirit. <clears throat> like I said, it's still somebody's somebody's still leaving. Somebody is freeing themselves from that. I see it. It's gonna create forward movement for somebody. Somebody just like I, it, I, it wasn't no love here anyway. I'm just done. Or, or if it was, I'm tired of being hurt because this is not the first time that this person done done some fuckery. That heart done been cut open a few times. You see what I'm saying? Different things has happened. This could have been cheating. This could have been lying. Whatever these little strings are. But this heart done been cut open trying to be stitched back up. This person that they with don't even let their heart heal before they do some more dumb shit. But this was like the icing on the cake. They, they done lost every damn thing. This man is in despair. You hear me? And this woman... Take it how it resonates, man or woman, but they're definitely like, it's. I don't even, when you think about it, it's not even so much that they in regret. I feel like this person is thinking about how they can go and do some more dumb shit. It really has not set in on this person how bad they have fucked up. When this man that's in despair, when this person that's in despair, when they leave, then maybe this maybe it'll set in with this person how they done fucked up. Cause they done fucked they whole little world up. They have. They done mortgaged out their damn house. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's a habit, but there's something where this person needs money. They need constant. Money, 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 money. Okay? What in the fuck is going on? What else, dear? Okay, what is that? So now you have the main male and change. I'm telling you, shit about to change. Shit is about to change in this connection. Period. This main male could, could be this one that's in despair. Let me see now. What's going on in this damn car? Like I said, this man got his suitcase. Look right there. He is a man. That man got his suitcase. He's going to get in his car to get the hell on. Look in the back of the car. Bunch of bags. Suitcases. This man finna get the fuck on. I told you it's creating full movement. This ain't the ones. I'm telling you what I see now. This main male. <coughs> the connection that he was in. This marriage or whatever the fuck it was. It was for show. It was just for show. And they don't even have that anymore. So it's like, what's the fucking point of staying? When I, I be damned, because this person knows they're going to have to rebuild their whole motherfucking life. But they're not going to do it with this person. Because this person has gotten the truth and clarity that the person that they were married to or in connection with don't care about nobody but they self. You have to be selfish as fuck to do what this person did. To not pay the fucking bills. To mortgage off the fucking house. To spend our fucking life savings. You got to be selfish as fuck. Okay? And you also got to be fucking naive as fuck too. Because this person done hurt you before. Why in the fuck would you put all that trust? I'm not beating up on y'all. Okay? I'm just saying. Why would you marry? Listen. 
wife or not, husband or not, like I said, the person done hurt you before. Plenty of fucking times from what I see. So why in the fuck would you put all your trust in this person for them to, for you to be ended up like this? This man ain't got no job. Yeah, I'm telling you what I see now. But they leaving. I see that. And they pack their little bags. They're just like, there's nothing else here. There's nothing else here. They could already be gone. Because this two of ones talks about forward movement. This could be her sitting in the motherfucking house looking at him drive down a damn driveway and know it ain't nothing she can do because she done fucked up everything. But I really feel like in her mind, she thinking about how she can go and, I don't know, meet somebody else who got money, scam or do something. And she's not. It's not really setting in on this person just what they have done. It's not. This could be somebody who need to go to rehab. This could be somebody who really needs some help. And like I said, I'm not down in no motherfucking vibe. You hear me? I'm just telling y'all what I see. Okay, Spirit, what else? Going on? <clears throat> I hope this ain't none of my collective. I, I hope it's somebody external to y'all because this is crazy. Okay. Message of concern. There it is. There's the letter. Yeah, your home finna go in foreclosure. Got 14 day notice. Your home is finna go in foreclosure. The bank will own your home in 14 days if you don't come up with such and such money. So this woman could have gotten this letter and hid it. I'm feeling like this man world crashed all at once. When he lost his job, and you guys, this could be past. This could have happened at the beginning of coronavirus, whatever. But it's like when this person lost his job, he he was worried but not really worried. Because he know he has at least six months worth of emergency savings, right? Mm -mm. It's gone. And the house is going to get gone too. The house is going to get gone too. 14 days, the bank going to own the house. Your home gonna go in foreclosure. Wow, what in the fuck? Let's see what is going on. Journey. There's a 10 on there. Somebody's getting on a train with the intentions of never returning. They're gonna go and reinvent themselves. That's what I see. Yep, they, they're leaving a whole life behind because it's, it's done anyway. It's like this person was so selfish, not thinking about nobody, but they, even right here in the card. Somebody look high. Somebody look like they out their mind. They on another level. They got their eyes closed. They on another level, right? I'm telling you, this was somebody who had a habit. Fuck what you heard. You, you, you don't go and do all this shit. Cause you, I mean, she could have had to spend the habit, but the way she look on this card, even right here, you know, she look like she could be on drugs. Alcohol, something. That's not no alcohol. That's drugs. You don't drink that damn much. You don't drink your motherfucking house away. I hope not. But it's possible. But I'm picking up a drug addiction to where she goes. And look at the hand. Look at her clothes torn and tattered. That, that's like heroin. That's some hard shit. This person done got a hold to some hard shit, bruh. I mean, look how skinny she look right here. Oh my god, this is deep, y'all. What the fuck? But like I said, this person that mortgage they fucking house. Whew. 14 days the bank gonna own it. That is the message of concern. And I feel like this woman could have hid this shit. She she hid that from this man. Okay, cause things were still good, right? They still had furniture and shit in the house. Things were still good. She hid that damn no that noticed that notice or whatever the fuck it was. He comes home and tell her one day he ain't lost his job, and he's like, "Well, we're gonna be okay. We got at least six months worth of savings." She like, "No, we don't." And she had to come clean. She had to come clean, and this man is in despair, and he said, "Fuck this shit. I gotta go. I gotta go." This man packed out. He looked clothes. In the little beat up car, 
<clears throat> and he's going on another journey. He's going somewhere else to reinvent himself. He's completely leaving a whole nother life behind. What is going on? He could be going to a whole nother city, state. Because I feel like he don't want to face the people. Because remember, this was one of them connections where they did shit for show. They had the nice car. They had the nice home. They had the nice clothes. They did all that shit for show. This man going on a journey. This man really getting on the motherfucking train. And getting the hell out of, out of Dodge. Period. Great fortune. Great fortune is popping out of the deck. Okay. So... It doesn't, excuse me, it doesn't feel like it for this person who's going through this. But Spirit says everything that happened is happening for your highest good, okay? I feel like, mm, thank you, Spirit. This journey is a spiritual journey, okay? This person had to be, they had to be humbled all the way down. This person had to be humbled all the way down to... Get humbled and get on this spiritual path to surrender and ask God to come in, right? And sometimes, listen, when you're dealing with real materialistic people that do shit like that, sometimes you have to hit them where it hurts. And this person, like that whole, I wouldn't wish this on nobody, okay? But it happens, you know? This person's whole world crumbled in like, just like that. Just like that, okay? And it's like... Who do you trust? Who do you... This person has nobody. The one person that they put all their trust in mortgaged their fucking life away. Right? And so now they have no choice but to surrender to this journey, to the spiritual journey, okay? And it's it's going to create great fortune for this person to find their higher self. That's what Spirit is saying with their great fortune card. But y'all, this is deep. This is heavy. This is heavy. And this is happening to... Someone. I pray for whoever this is, but just like the most high God said, it's for your highest good. Okay? It's for your highest best good. Mm. Anything else, spirit? Wow. Okay. Sudden wealth is coming up in the reverse. Bottom of the day. Look at that shit. Look at that shit. Thief. She, she, she stole their fucking life. She, mm, he or she, okay? This energy, which I feel, because for me, as an intuitive reader, the thief card has been coming up as a karmic energy. Okay? So, it's karmic. And like I said, even here, they doing, it's all for show. Look at her fake titties. It's all for show for people, for them to walk down the street and people look at them in their fancy clothes and shit. He all zombied out. He don't know what in the fuck is going on. Okay. Wow. It's coming to an end. And it's, it's, oof. It's bad. It is really bad. This is heavy. This is what brought this person on his spiritual path. Losing everything. They lost everything. And sudden, it happened suddenly. Like I said, it was it was almost like it was out for him. She was so out of her mind. She knew she was hiding shit. She was covering up shit. Um, and this man, I feel like he could have worked really hard for these things. Um, but this energy did not care. This is somebody who only care about themselves, especially if they are on drugs. Okay. They only thinking about they self. Obviously, you mortgage your fucking house off for money to go and get high, and then you hide the fucking notices, you know, because you still had a chance here. You could have talked to your spouse and said, listen, this is what I did, and so now the mortgage is double because I took out a loan or whatever. And this has been going on for a while. Because they didn't just lose the house in like 14 days. She kept hiding these notices. That was the final notice. That was the final notice, okay? And so this man comes home. <clears throat> he trying to be honest with her. He still, man, this man, this is crazy. 
This is crazy. This man put all his faith in a, in, in a, a human being. That's not what God wants for anybody to do. Put your faith in the most high God. This man put all his faith in this woman. Was doing all this shit for this woman. And as soon as he loses his job. All the meanwhile, she lying to him and doing all kind of crazy shit behind his back. Not only that, she been and hurt his ass plenty of times before. But he stayed. He stayed when it went. He knew it was dry. He seen when no leaves coming off that tree. He still stayed. Still trying to do the right thing. Come home. Baby, I lost my job. But we going to be okay. I got six months worth of saving. No, you, we ain't got shit. We ain't got shit. Okay? And so, it's just, this could be somebody that was younger than him. Yeah, wow. This woman could be younger than him. <clears throat> she look early 20s, maybe 30, on drugs. His hairline receding. He could be late 40s, early 50s. He got to go and completely start all the way over. But... Spirit said this was great fortune. This had to happen this way because this is somebody who was just completely out of touch with their spiritual self. It was all about the 3D. That man was doing shit to please somebody that didn't give a fuck about him. Putting all his faith in the humans. You got it. But he, he's been humbled. You hear me? He has been humbled. Okay? And he was dealing with a thief, a karmic energy. Somebody that brought him all the fucking way down. Sudden will in the reverse, baby. Damn. But y'all know I picked up on this. Um, oh, man, just about three months ago, I said this person, because I felt like it was a twin. I said this person that walked away from you, left you for some, some floozy. I said, and they are going to pay dearly. I said, they're not going to have shit. And that's what I see right here. And so what it has done, okay, it's fucked up that it happened. It's fucked up. But I, like I said, I picked this up months ago in another reading. But what it has done is made this person go soul searching, put them on a spiritual journey. Okay, that's what, it, that's what it was designed to do. This is their karma, okay? They were with the karmic, not learning the fucking lessons. Right? Steady trying to put work in something where they know good damn well it wasn't for them. They saw the red flags. They were still trying. Still trying. Saw it wasn't nothing coming off the tree. Still trying. There wasn't nothing left to do now but leave. Pick up. Surrender to the most high God. I told you. <laughs> Karmic. That was this person's karma. That's what did it. Ooh, child was they bad. It was their karma, okay? With justice and the devil coming out, that's karma all day long. That will be a brighter day, but it's going to be because now this person realizes what in the fuck is important. This person has been stripped to, to nothing. They butt, booty, ass, naked. They have zilch. You hear me? So it's like this. When you get so far down, there's nothing, nothing to do but come up. I see 33, 33. This person is going to be a totally different person than you last knew. If this is your twin, if this is your masculine going through this or feminine, whatever, they're going to be totally different, baby. It might even put their ass in a... It might become a fucking monk. I'm telling you. Because this is somebody who is so materialistic. It was all about the, the, the bright and shiny thing. And they didn't know it. They had a beast around them the whole time. Who was that beast? This thief, this devil, that karmic, that show karma for what in the fuck this person did, whatever they did. Baby, don't you know they ain't gonna never do that shit no more? I said, when you see this person again, they're gonna be totally different than what in the fuck they was when they left. I guarantee you. Hmm. All right. And for some of y'all, it is. Y'all main man. It is the uh, masculine. Damn, bro. Anything else, spirit? That's fucked up. Yeah. There will be victory. Right? There will be victory and success. But it's going to be because now this person has been humbled. They're going to come from a more... They know what's important now. 
this person's going to be spiritual as hell. They're going to be living through their higher self. They're going to be so fucking humble. I promise you, if you was to talk to this person now, they ain't reaching out because they too ashamed. But, but I knew it. I fucking knew it. They lost everything. Lost every fucking thing. Listen to me, y'all. This shit is real. This shit is real. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> I don't even know what else to, to, to say or do. I mean, it is what it is. Justice is out here. This is spiritual justice. This is spiritual justice. For some, for very, a very few of you, um, someone went to court and lost everything. They lost everything. In a divorce. Child injustice is a divorce. And that's for a very few. Because I'm picking up for, listen to me, I'm picking up for a very few of you that with this message of concern, this woman found something, maybe a text message, some kind of proof that this person was um, cheating, signs of cheating. And she said, okay, okay, I'm going to get victory. And that's what the fuck she did. Because we have a picture of somebody sitting in this house by their damn self. So for a very few of you, this person went to court and lost everything. They have nothing. Either way, whether it was court or they was with a karmic who had a habit. Um, new life. This is somebody who has been fucking born again after having to be. Listen, it was ripped away. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I said for some of y'all, it was y'all twin. Okay. And so some of them, they are going to come back. Some of them going to come back, but it ain't going to be right now. That's probably why some of y'all ain't hearing from this person, because this is what they going through. And this is crazy. This is insane. They don't have shit. They don't have no job. They ain't got nowhere to stay. This person could come to you. So let me see, Spirit, what are they going to be asking my collective if they were to show up? Because if this, I feel like if they showed up right now, they gonna need a place to stay. They don't have a place to stay. They got their motherfucking clothes, okay, in a little beat up car. Oh, uh, where is it? They got their clothes in a little beat up car, okay. But they don't have nowhere to stay. I'm telling you, they have been evicted. Some of them left. Some of them left on their own, and some of them got evicted. Either way, their life has been turned upside down, period. And that was spiritual justice. Karma, dealing with, you cannot play with the motherfucking devil, baby. Let me tell you this. You can't play with the devil and expect good things. Expect the sunshine. Devil, thief. You cannot, okay? And expect to have great fortune. You fucking with the devil? <laughs> baby. The devil's very, very tricky. So let me see, because I want to know what this person could be if they if they show up to you. What are they? What are they wanting? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Spirit, if this person shows up to my collective, what would they need, or how? What would happen, Spirit? They may not. They may be so damn prideful. They just be like, fuck it. And go off into the wilderness someday. And like I said, somebody going to leave the state. And whenever you do hear from them, they're going to be totally different. They're going to be that hermit. Hermit is a spiritual teacher. Like I said, somebody somebody going to become a monk from this shit. It's, it's gonna, it's, it was so bad. It was so bad. They put their trust in the wrong thing. Mm. Show us what we need to see, Spirit. Six of Pentacles. They need you to do something for them. I can't make this shit up if I try, man. 
The good that you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others who are less fortunate. I said when they come back to you, they're going to be needing help because they don't have nothing. Bottom of the day, the star. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know. I don't even know. Because I'm not even going to get my opinion right now. It don't even matter. I ain't nobody. What else, be? Here? King of Swords. Oh, now you... Now, let me shut up. So let's just read the card. Let, let spiritual sage gonna shut the fuck up. Okay, so respected, stoic, impartial, intellectual, receiving wise advice, remain objective, and fair-minded, public speaking, communicate clearly, unemotional relationships, or being emotionally unavailable. So I take that how it resonates, okay? Because I'm not I'm gonna leave my opinion out of it. Leave my opinion out of it. But what else is going on in spirit? I knew that six of pentacles. I knew that's gonna need some money. I mean, I feel like this. I just think it's fucked up. I just think it's fucked up. And and it's it's like, why do we have to be the ones? And I say we, I'm talking about divine feminists. Why do we have to be the ones to always be in high vibrational? Like, when do we get to, like, what the fuck? What the fuck, okay? Because I feel like for somebody, this person left you behind. I know they did. Two of Cups is right here. They, and look, they go right there. They go right there, right? They left you behind. For, for some of them, a marriage, okay? And it caused pain. Three of swords again, right? <laughs> but anyway, what I was going to say is, why is it that he turned these cards over? Okay. Yeah, look at that shit. Yeah, there was definitely some extra shit going on. But why is it that this person leaves you behind, go and give they all, to another person. Working themselves to death. Saving money. Buying houses. Paying on furniture and shit. And then they lose it all. Okay. And then they have to come back to you. In a fucking wheelchair. Asking for handouts. And you supposed to, ha you supposed to help them. said I wasn't going to give my opinion. I still haven't given my opinion for real, for real. I'm just saying, like, because you have it. Now in the pinnacle, you got it. It was set up like that. Okay? That was the justice. If you ain't got it by the time this person come to you in this damn wheelchair basically saying they don't have anything, by the time they come to you, you're going to be on your shit. Now in the pinnacle. You have it to give, okay? So. And then I see the Ace of Pentacles. A lucrative contract. So, because it's, it's not that I wouldn't help the person. My thing is, that's the only reason they're coming back. Is that the only reason they're coming back? That's what I'm saying. Because... Then I would think that's some bullshit. I would. I would think that's fucked up. The only reason you coming back because you lost. You didn't let this bitch gamble your life savings. You let this motherfucker gamble your house away. It could have been gambling. I don't even know why I was saying that. It could have been gambling. But whatever the fuck it was, they don't have anything. And so you, you, you've gotten to this nine of pinnacle status. This person didn't help you do that shit. They was not with you in the gym when you was practicing. You hear me? They was out building their life for somebody else. 
So if they coming back only because they don't have it, what in the, how you supposed to feel? I don't care how spiritual you are. You still got a beating heart with fucking emotions. How you supposed to feel? Baby. Spirit, what is my collective supposed to do? Really? Really? Drop the ego. I don't, okay. I'm just a messenger, so I don't need to keep giving my opinion. So, um, accept responsibility for your situation, then make choices that support your path to happiness, addictions, or unhealthy habits. So when this person comes back, you are to make decisions that are, that are going to support your happiness, okay? So if you want to be with this person, then help them. If you don't want to be with this person, still help them, but then tell them to get the hell on. Because you're going to have, you're going to have a, okay, 8-8, eight, eight. abundance. You're going to have this abundance. Spirit is, that's your justice. You're going to have it. I see that. Nine of Pentacles, 888, great fortune. You're going to have this abundance, okay? It's teaching this person a, woo, a huge lesson, baby. Huge lesson. Huge, okay? But um, don't get in your ego, okay? Go within and make the decisions that support your path to happiness. Because you're going to have an abundance of whatever this is they're going to be asking for. Pentacles is money. When I see six of pentacles, this is either somebody buying somebody something or needing you to buy them something. And it says, sharing your wealth with the less fortunate. As I say, Spirit, if they come back, what they're going to need? Six of pentacles. Need you to share your wealth, okay? So, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. I, and, you know, when I first picked this story up, it was when I first started reading tarot, so I really didn't understand, like, the significance of this, okay? But it's real. It's real. Um, is somebody going through this shit right the fuck now? Right now, bro. Towels is always right now. You don't feel it. You're not going to feel it because you're protected from this energy because you you are already on your path. You already had surrendered to the journey. You see what I'm saying? This person did not, and it could be a Leo with the sun card, Leo or a Virgo, okay? This person hadn't surrendered to the journey, and they were just so materialistic, okay? If you were dealing with a person, and it was all about how things looked, and they walked around like they shit didn't stink, I promise you, they know better now. They know better now. They can't, they don't even have a job, baby. They're having trouble finding a job, but it's all set up that way. Because like I said, you cannot play games with the devil and think that the sun is going to shine. You can't. This person was playing games with the devil. And so, yeah, it did create forward movement. Forward movement right on that journey. Right on that spiritual journey. I wish... I'm going to find out what video that was and I'm going to leak it in my... um. You know, when the end screen come on and it tell y'all to watch that video, click on that video because it's this story. I promise you, it's this same damn story and I got to find it because I picked this up months ago. I said, somebody is going to lose everything and it is their karma for how they treated the divine feminine. And I be damned if the fucking two of cups ain't right there. Tower for how they treated this divine connection. They treated it like it wasn't shit. Got over here with a drug addict or whoever she is. She was either she gambled the money away. And she was only thinking about herself. For some of them, they were drug addicts. This person didn't know it. This this woman showed showed up to this masculine to be something totally different. And the only way they found out who she was was when they lost everything. It was too late then. You could have warned this person. Oh my God. They tower. Who? You could have warned this person. You could have told them, listen, the person that you're dealing with is a karmic. Um, ooh, 
And so it's going to take this person, if they do come back to you, they're being, because nobody else is going to help them. Because I feel like other people was warning them. I feel like family and friends was warning them about this karma. You was warning them about the karma. So everybody else has cut this person off. They have nobody to come to but you. The same person that they walked away from is now on her shit. She got her ducks in order. She got wealth. Okay, and baby, they're gonna need your help. So what do you do? Okay. Be, I, you know what? I'm saying that because I think it's fucked up, but I would tell you, okay? Cause you wanna stay on this path. You don't wanna create no more karma for yourself or no bad situations or nothing like that. Cause you're gonna have it. Whoever this is, you're gonna have that wealth, baby. Help this person. Give them what they need. That's going to complete their lesson. It's going to go on and complete their lesson. For real. So I'm telling you, it's going to finish humbling their ass all the way down. Because they know if it hadn't been the other way around, they wouldn't have, do it. They wouldn't have did it for you. But you do it for them. You helping that they... Ooh, child, judgment. Karma. They're going to surrender that soul. Because that's all they have left. They, this person literally has nothing. And I'm not even bullshitting. But that's what happens when you play with the devil. The devil's tricky. Man. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to try to find that video and link, uh, put it in the at the end of this video so that you guys can see that I, I read, I was picking up on this story back then. But I didn't understand the you know, like I said, I had just started reading tarot. And a lot of you guys have been commenting and I know your story, so I know what's going on, baby. Mm -mm -mm. This is crazy. This is crazy. So that's what I have for y'all. I'm gonna light me some sage off in this thing, cause that shit was heavy. It was heavy. I would hate to be in them in, in that person's shoes. They walked away from a divine partner for the devil for the devil and lost everything they completely lost everything damn alright it's your girl spiritual sage check out the video that comes up um, on the end screen if you haven't subscribed make sure you do so if this is your story or you resonated in any way like it so it can circulate and other people can see it. See if it's their story. You hear me? Whew, baby. Alright, till next time. Bye.